Hi friends, today let's see about solution of simultaneous linear algebraic equations using Gauss elimination method. A sample program and it is C++ implementation. To solve a simultaneous linear equations using Gauss elimination method, first we need to form a matrix and then we need to make the matrix as triangularization that is make the matrix as triangular matrix upper triangular matrix then we will do back substitution so let's see with an example here my example is 2x0 plus 3x1 plus 5x2 equal to 23 3x0 plus 4x1 plus x2 equal to 14 6x0 plus 7x x1 plus 2x2 equal to 26 i'm having three variables as well as three equations so first let me form the equation um, let me form the matrix the matrix is formed by using the coefficients the first column is the coefficients of x0 first variable 2 3 6 and second column is the coefficients of second variable then 3 4 7 and next column is formed with the coefficient of the next variable that is 5 1 2 and then it is multiplied with x0, x1, x2. These are the three variables equal to the constants 23, 14 and 26. So this is the matrix and we can rearrange this matrix or represent this matrix in an augmented matrix form. Augmented matrix means I am augmenting the value of the constant to this matrix. So 2, 3, 5 is augmented with 23, then 3, 4, 1, then 14, then 6, 7, 2, this is 26. So, this is the matrix. I am going to perform all the operations. Here, actually, we are, what we are doing is, next step is, we need to make this matrix in a upper triangular form. Upper triangular means, uh, the elements above the diagonal elements will be, Below the diagonal elements is 0. That is, we need to make this 3, 6, 7. These 3 elements 0 to make it as a triangular matrix. For that, what we will do is, we will apply row transformations. So, for that, first we need to identify a pivot row. First case, the pivot first iteration, the pivot row will be taken as the first row. And using the first row, we will change this R2, R1 as well as R2. That is what we will do is first row, first element is taken as the pivot element. And divide this element with these two elements. And find the difference that is R1 will be changed to R1 minus R0 into the multiplier that we found. Multiplier is 3 divided by this uh, 2 that is the pivot element and 6 divided by this 2 that is the pivot element. So first let's do this operation. So 3 divided by 2 so we got the multiplier as 1.5. So we are changing the row R1. So R1 is changed to R1 minus the pivot row that is the first row R0 into multiplier. So what we will get us? Our R1 is 3, 4, 1, 14. So 3, 4, 1, 14 minus R0 into multiplier. Multiplier is 1.5. R0 is 2. 2 into 1.5 is here it is 3. Then 3 into 1.5 is 4.5. And 7 into 1. Point, sorry. 5 into 1.5 is 7.5. And 23 into 1.5 is 34.5. So, by subtracting this, we got the array as, sorry, a row as 0, point, minus 0.5, point minus 6.5 and minus 20.5. So, now our matrix becomes this. Next is, I need to make this element as 0. In order to make this element as 0, again I need to find our multiplier. Multiplier is dividing the 6 with the pivot element that is 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, R2, R2 is, I am going to change the row here, R2. So, R2 is changed to R2 minus the pivot row that is R0 into multiplier. So, our third row, R2 is 2, 26. So, 6, 7, 2, 26 minus 3 into R0. 3 into 2 is, it is 6. Sorry. Now, yeah, 3 into 2, it is 6. 
and then 3 into 3 it is 9 then 5 into 3 it is 15 23 into 3 it is 69 by subtracting we will get 0 minus 2 minus 13 and minus 43 so our r2 becomes 0 minus 2 minus 13 minus 43 see now we have got these two elements as 0 next is i need to make this element as 0 in order to make this element as 0 i will take the pivot row as the next row initially i take the pivot row as the first row second time for the second iteration i will take the next row as the pivot row and this element as the pivot element so first i took this element as the pivot element second time second row second element is taken as the pivot element so it is minus 0.5 so what i have to do is divide 2 by this 0.5 so minus 2 divided by minus 0.5 i got the multiplier as 4 so next is i need to change this row so r2 minus r2 r2 minus i need to multiply this multiplication factor into the pivot row now the pivot row is r1 so r2 minus r1 into multiplier so r2 is 0 minus 2 minus 30 and minus 43 minus r1 into multiplier r1 is here 0 4 into 0 it is 0 then next is r1 is minus 2 minus 0.5 into 4 which is minus 2 minus 6.5 into 4 that is minus 26 minus 20.5 into 4 that is minus 86 so my row becomes 0 0 then minus 30 minus plus 20 minus 26 so minus 30 plus 26 it is 13 minus 43 minus 86 that is minus 43 minus minus plus so minus 43 plus 86 that is 39 so the third row becomes 0 0 13 39 so i have got the matrix like this now see my matrix becomes upper triangular matrix so let's move on to next step next step is after getting the after making the matrix as upper triangular matrix I can rewrite the matrix as 235 that is this this thing and then into x0 x1 x2 and this is the last element of our matrix 23 minus 25 5 and 39. Now we can multiply these things and equate this to that that is 2x0 plus 3x1 plus 5x2 equal to this 23 and next is 0x0 0, that is 0 minus 0.5 x1 minus 5 minus 5 4.5 x1 plus minus 6.5 x2 minus 6.5 x2 equal to minus 20.5 minus 20.5 next is 0 into this one 0 this 0 into this one 0 and 13 x2 equal to 39 here we will be using back substitution the method itself known as back substitution means we will start from the last row See from the last row we got the relation 13x2 equal to 39. From that we can get the value of x2 as 39 by 13 which is equal to 3. So next we can take the next row. From the next row we will get the relation minus 0.5x1 plus minus 6.5x2 is equal to minus 20.5. By substituting the value of x2 here that is then x2 x1 will be equal to minus 20.5 minus sum of this value that is 6.5 into x2 right divided by minus 0.5 so substituting the value of x2 here i will get x1 as 2 now i have got the value of x0 as well as x1 sorry x2 as well as x1 then let's take the next row from the next row i got the relation as this by substituting the values of x1 and x2 here i will get the value of x0 so x0 will be equal to this 23 minus this thing that is 3 into x1 plus 5 into x2 all divided by this 2 so that will be equal to 1 so now i have got the solution of x0 x1 and x2 this is how we will do we will find the solution of simultaneous equations using Gauss method.